Hi everybody, it's Tina here from Hummingbird Tales. I hope you're all really, really well. It's been quite a strange time, hasn't it, um, for the last few months, but you know, we're all getting through it and uh, I just want to send out lots of love and hugs to all of you. Um, I hope that you're safe and that you're keeping well. Today I'm gonna to share with you, um, this is my swap journal for Heidi McGregor. This um, journal was supposed to have been finished, oh my goodness, before Christmas. But as you know, I had my father was ill and then my nan was ill. And so, you know, life sort of got in the way, but she's finished and this is it. So she's quite a thick lady, big chunky monkey. Lots of goodness there though. And basically what Heidi wanted was um, a fabric cover, um, vintage and with sort of neutral tones. So this is what I've come up with. And this is also my design team project for Andrea of Artie Mays. And the kits that I've used in this are her ticket oddments for collage, her female beauties one and two, her Victorian beauties, which are um, pictures of Victorian girls and one of her ephemera kits. And I've also got a couple of her collage pages in here as well. So um, what I decided to do was um, I've used Stamperia's old lace paper pad which is not close to hand at the moment so I where have I got it here let's have a look no it's not close to hand um, but I've used that in here as well and uh, so this is it she's four and a half by seven and it's got about a two to two and a half inch spine the cover was made with me collaging up lots of different fabrics and laces a lot of it was vintage if I show you the back and then of course on the front, on top of that, I've collaged a few layers of fabric, some cheesecloth, this beautiful picture of this lady. And I've cut out lots of different flower appliques. There's a bit of old doily here, this lovely key charm for a bit of metal. And I've made a stick pin to go in the top. So that's that. And she's tied with seam binding, which I have stained with a bit of tea. And there you go, that's how big this journal is. So Heidi, I hope it's not too big for you. <laughs> so on the inside cover, I've used this lovely linen. It's not vintage, but it's so pretty. And uh, um, I just felt like keeping it free of pockets and everything because it had enough going on in it with all the embellishments and bits and pieces. And this is the first signature. There's three signatures in here. So I've used one of the vintage ladies and this is a, a Tim Holtz um, little word sticker that says whisper to my heart and there's lots of collaging there you know different papers and I've made a little corner pocket here with a doily and this is a little tag I've stamped out a parasol there and the back's just plain I've used black stitching because I really wanted it to stand out so on this page here I've just stick something in underneath to give it a bit of support if that's okay can you yeah you can still see that so on this page here on the inside I've made a little pocket with some um, three or four layers of tissue paper that have been sewn together with music paper inside and I've used bits of old vintage doily and appliques and trims and I've also used it on the tag at the top and there is a picture here from Andrea's kit of one of the little girls so up here, we've got a journaling tag. I can't remember if this is one of Andrea's or if it is Tsunami Rose, but um, I've used a few bits of out of my stash, which is from Tsunami Rose as well. And then inside the pocket, we've got one of the lady images there, backed on coffee dyed paper. So I've done a lot of pages like this where I've just stamped and stenciled and, you know, put some little bits and pieces all in the theme of vintage. There's a corset there. Turn over. I'll just move this over a bit because this is a flip out. And on this side, I've made a little pocket here with Stamperia paper, one of the images and a tag that I've embossed, which I thought was really pretty and feminine. There's some lace along here. And inside we've got a Tim Holtz pocket with a little paper doll collaged and layered. And in here I've put lots of different bits and pieces. That's one of Andrea's from her ticket kit. 
I've put a few of these in here, which was a gift from Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodah. Um, they are matchbox covers and I, I purchased a journal off her last year and she sent me a whole page of them. So thank you, Tina. This is a little tag that I've um, coll not collaged, um, decoupaged onto. It's an old little guest check receipt, you know, the bottom part. And then we've got another little advert here and some corset tags. I don't know if I can get them out because I've tightly packed them in. Just little stamped corsets there. Music paper, and this is one of my tags, and I've got this beautiful piece of um, doily here. So yeah, this tag here is one of the ones I've created recently. I've had them up on Instagram and Facebook, and I've got a tutorial on how I make these. I use more black lace in the tutorial, but it's basically the same thing. So more doily. This is a pocket I've made with uh, music paper and cheesecloth and I've got a little applique here with a little black pin and at the top here we've got another little matchbox lid and this is one of my die cuts that I've got and I think this is one of Andrea's um, uh, ephemera but this is definitely one of her tickets so I'll stick that back in there and on this side, we've got a glassine bag, again, layered up with this little collage here. There's a little paper doll. And if I open it up inside, we've got one of the bits of ephemera. And that folds over there. Here I've got a tea bag that I've stained and layered up. I've got some butterflies on the string with some gems. There's a little bird here with some feathered for a tail. And in the tea bag, we've got another embossed tag and stamped on the back and another ticket. So I've kept the back of that bag open so the ticket slots in there. Let's try and open it up. There we go. So here I've made another little tuck. There's some doily bits piece on the edge there. And this is some ephemera. I think this might be Tsunami Roses, this one. It was in my stash. Up here I've got this lovely glass bead, a little faceted bead. It's really pretty with a bronze bead on a black bulb pin. Stamping, stenciling, washi tape. And here I've made a belly band with this lovely applique trim. And this picture of this, these flowers are from Andrea's Woodland Walk kit. I've put a few of them in here because I thought it was quite nice to have some botanicals in with a vintage theme oh sorry and, and underneath there as you can see this is a collage um, paper that i've used for a page and just gessoed over it and stamped a little bit and in the middle of the first signature as you can see there's lots of stamping and stenciling there's some washi tape some butterflies i've kept all of the ties really long in case heidi decided that she wanted to dangle any beads off or anything and here I've got a little pocket made out of a piece of doily. There's a little mother of pearl button here. And in the pocket, we've got a little clock tag. Um, a little tag that I've made, a little butterfly, and there's a bit of um, doily there. And I've made a few of these little miniature envelopes um, that I've decoupaged on. There's also a couple of bigger ones as well in here. And there's some stamps in there for Heidi to play with. The next page, kept this side blank. When I say blank, I mean so she can write. I have actually decorated it, as you can see. And here we've got some organza ribbon tying this envelope together with some butterflies on. And in the back here, we've got this tiny, weeny little paper pad. This is one of the Tim Holtz um, mini bulldog clips. And I've made a little tiny tag to hang off here. And that's just got different bits of paper. In the back we've got one of Andrea's ephemera pieces. Just tuck that back in there, clip that back there and that's that. I did go in, oh no I didn't go inside, sorry, in the envelope. <laughs> it's a piece of paper that I've um, decoupaged, stamped, stenciled and gessoed as well. Sorry about that. There's a lot to get through with this one. 
Okay, I'll leave that undone for now. Here's another one of my tags that I've recently made. And we have a glassine bag here and inside I've got this tag. Now I'm gonna sew around this and I'm going to attach some um, lace or something to the top, but it's an embossed tag backed in coffee paper and I got a stamp on the back. I just wanted to get this video done. And this is about the fifth time I've done this video. All sorts of things are going on with my iPad at the moment. There's a little picture that I've shrunk down really tiny. One of the Victorian beauties. Here I've made a little tuck spot with this tag that I've made. And inside we've got one of her tickets from um, the Ticket Oddment Kit. And this is one of Tim Holtz's cards. But I felt it belonged in there. On this side here we've got a Rita Donnelly corner tuck. So I've put a paper clip up to keep this up because it's a little bit heavy. But that's got a secret writing, um, writing place there. And then that clips those all in. So there's applique, some tool on top, and then a little couple of flowers on top of that. And then this is one of Andrea's um, ephemera pieces. And I'm stamped and stenciled there. Another decorated page. Here I've got um, this dragonfly applique and some old doily. And I've done some stamping and stenciling. And on this page as well. And here I've got a little pocket that I've made with lace. It's got a gold heart dangling from here. And this is one of the envelopes that I've made recently. And again, I've showed these on Facebook and Instagram. Lots and lots of um, different mixed media techniques on here. And inside another piece of paper that I've coffee start stained and it's been gessoed, stamped decoupage I really loved all this little bit of pink it just gave it a little bit of color going throughout this journal that goes back in there and on the back we've got a library pocket that I've made again by just doing lots of collage layering up there's a little bit of um, embossing there and another embossed tag with the birds and the flowers there Number two, so this is some um, second signature again with a stamperia paper collage. This is from Andrea's kit, she could believe really pretty. And inside, we've got another pocket, and this is a little um, snippet that I made a little cluster snippet. And on here, we've got mother of pearl button, which I think it's picking up in the camera, some beads, and then these are from Andrea's ephemera kits. I've stamped and stenciled on some of the backs of tags and not all of them. Here I've got another flip out, which I've kept plain here, but you can see the, the impression of the doily when I dyed it. And this has got a pocket on the front, layered up with this beautiful image. And this opens up like a little book. I think this used to be Tsunami Roses, the actual bit inside. And I do believe, not 100% with that one, but the Violet's one, that is Tsunami Rose. Like I said, I just used a few bits from my stash because they were they've been there for quite some time. I'll fiddle with that later. And then at the top here we've got this lovely belly band, and again another little envelope which has been decoupaged and stamped. And inside that another little tiny piece of paper, gessoed, stamped, stenciled, <laughs> and that goes in there like that we've got another glassine bag here that i've um, embellished with this doily some butterflies a bit of lace there and inside here we've got a guest check it was ali commons that inspired me to do this little pocket because she did something like this for a journal that i swapped with her quite some time ago now anyway i've put lots of bits and pieces in here so this is bits of ephemera from andrea's kits this is another one of the cigarette box uh matchbox uh, toppers and that's got scotch heather on there so that had to go in there because Heidi's from Scotland and one of the little postcards of Andrea's I've shrunk down tiny on this side here I've just done the collage that's a bit of decoration on the back of the bag and here I've created another pocket using this beautiful lace 
Um, again, it's got um, music paper underneath. I've got a metal um, little banner saying love. And this has got a sorry silk ruffle. There's a little metal butterfly hanging off here. And in the top is a Tiffany & Co um, stamped journaling card. And this is one of Andrea's. Again, lots and lots of doily and trims hanging off the sides and off the bottom. This is quite a modern one here. This is another flip up pocket. And in this one, I've got a ticket. Uh, that's got um, piano, pianola paper on the back. This is a doily that was gifted to me by Janet Hicks and I've included that. And that's one of Andrea's from her vintage ephemera kit. And then on this side, I've just made a little decoration here with a little tag that I've stuck to the page and it's got beads there as a corset. And up here, we've got this little clustery thing. And this is a flip up, flip down. And as you know, these are Tim Holtz. This is one of Andrea's and these are ticket pieces from her, um, I think it's a touch of spring kit. And in the top, I've got another tag, again, that I need to just sew around and add a bit of fabric. And then this just comes out like that and comes down like that. And I've just kept it for Heidi so she can write on there or she can stick a secret in there or make a pocket. So I'll leave that out a bit just to remind me. I've punched the edges here, the middle of the second signature. And again, this is collage paper and I've made a little clustered pocket thing here with some tickets and lace. And again, I've got another one of these embossed little tickets that I've made. And this one here with the bird decoupaged on from the napkin that I've used throughout this book. And this is what the napkin looks like. I managed to get that on eBay. It's beautiful. <laughs> Excuse me. On this side, we've got a little glassine pocket that I've layered up with some applique and some bits and pieces. And in here, we've got another little clock tag. And we've got another little envelope. And again, there, there's another piece of paper, but I won't pull that one out. Just the same as the other. Whoops, I've pinned this. Oh no, that was meant to go there. Sorry. <laughs> so over the page, we've got another one of my tags. I really love this picture. Again, lots of, lots of layering there. And here we've got a little collage pocket again. I've made this with a doily in the back. You might be able to make out a little swan just here. Again, I've got a teeny weeny envelope. And in this, one of the little flower pictures from a walk in nature's walk that I've shrunk down to miniature. That's in there. Let's just get, I'll just stick it in like that and I'll pull that piece out. I've got no nails at the moment and I'm struggling. <laughs> and in the back here, I've got um, a piece of ephemera from Andrea's kit and another ticket from one of her, I think it might be a ticket oddments kits and a clock on there. I'll just put that back where it was. Lace and another glass bead and this one's got a leaf on it. And here we've got a pocket of a doily and there's a metal bird hanging here. And I've created a little bag here, a little book rather out of a bag, a memory to hold. This is not actually from Andrea's kits, that's from Pinterest and was just in my stash. And this has just got pages in here that I've stamped and stenciled, butterflies in the center signature. And then in the back, there's a little journaling piece with a tiny bit of doily on the end. So that goes back in there. And then we've got another glassine bag. I've kept it plain here so you can see this lady, but this is another one of my tags. Another. This is the lady that's on the front of the cover and at the top here I've got a little applique, mother of pearl button and a gold bead. And that's been stamped and stenciled on the back. This again has been made out of a paper bag, this little pocket here, and there's lots of um, layering and all going on here. Oops, sorry. And I've got another embossed tag there. So 
some more stamping, stenciling, lace on the side. Right, if I move that along there now. That's it. So this is a altered paper clip that I've made. Again, lots of layering up and it was all backed on the back of a ticket and then I backed it with some coffee dyed paper because then that's another little hidden spot to write on if you wanted to. I've got a stamp there and some stenciling. And on the back page of the second signature, we've got a glassine bag, again, layered up with this collage and an image from Andrea's kit, in my heart I know, and another embossed tag in there. And there's doily at the bottom. And on the back of that page, I've got this belly band that I've made with layering up different laces and another one of the cards from um, a woodland walk kit. So the last signature, number three, thoughts that whisper to my heart. There's a lot going on here with lots of layering. And down here, we've got one of the embossed tags. I just love the embossed tags. They're, just so, they're so pretty and the cream just really shows up so much. I've got to stick that bit down, so I'll leave that hanging out there. And on this side, we've got another pocket made with some beautiful tool like lace and lace across there. I've got a little clock hanging off here with a bronze bead. And this is the other envelope that I've put in here that I've made. And that's a different bird from a different um, napkin, but it all went well together. And again, inside is another piece of paper that's been stamped, stenciled and decoupaged back and front. Or front to back. <laughs> Okay, you go in there. A bit tight, but we're in. Okay, so on this page again, there's lots of stamping and stenciling and another one of my tags that I made. And over here, we've got a ruffle with a little cluster made with some scraps of paper and a little bit of lace. Here we've got a doily pocket. Um, there's a little metal flower there and this little tag I've made using the same napkin as the envelopes and inside here we've got a little envelope this was actually supposed to be shut closed like that made out of um, dressmakers pattern paper and another little clock tag there I think this might be one of Andrea's little um, ephemera bits and in here we've got this little notepad I put a white button on this one with one of the little girl images and this is made with a stamperia paper and just some different pages in there. So that's that. Put that back in there. Here we've got a lace tip in, flip up, flip down, whatever you call them. And I've left it quite big because I liked it going over the edge and hanging down. This is such a beautiful um, applique. I've got quite a lot of this actually. So we've got the rosette trim up there, a layer of lace, a layer of that, a layer of that. And then underneath, we've got a secret writing, writing spot with a tag. And these are um, from Andrea's kit that I've shrunk down. So they go in there. More paper dolls. Some more um, doily pieces. This was such a beautiful doily. And I've put the whole thing throughout. And here I've stuck down one of my little envelopes. And in the back here, we've got this tiny weeny little tag of a rose. Plain on this side, I've got a gold doily there. Glassine bag that I've embellished with some washi tape and some of that napkin. And then inside, this is from Andrea's kit. It's got Truro on there, which is Cornish. I think all of her ephemera is Cornish actually. And then here I've got another of those collage pages and I've made a little corner tuck here. And again, this one flips up, flips down. One of Andrea's images. And here I've used another one of the Woodland Walk cards or um, journaling cards. And I've put some butterflies on there and some fabric, stamped it, stenciled it, gessoed it. And these are some bits of ephemera, French ephemera that I purchased from um, Etsy, a shop in Etsy recently, so I've included them. 
more beautiful doily again centre pages I've kept plain there's a little collage down there and then on the other side I did a very similar thing with this beautiful lady another flip up flip down and another one of these beautiful cards and a couple bits of French ephemera get them in like that we're nearly at the end folks you're doing well so here I've got another glassing bag or the other half of it and this is another part of Andrea's um, ephemera kit more collaging work um, collage well yeah it is collage actually I did put the washi sticker over that and we've got that doily this is another little scrappy flip thing embellishment some more very vintage lace on the side and there's another one of those um, beads and here we've got another glassine bag another lady from the kit find your lovely ness <laughs> and some tickets from Andrea's ticket kit and again that's been backed with pianola paper oh, it was that way around so I like to see the bit of green here I've got some other pearl buttons sewn on we're nearly there folks here I've got another little corner pocket but this one doesn't flip up or flip or anything it just sits there and it's all collage there's a little metal butterfly on a black pin and in here I've got this is a Tim Holtz little clip and a Tim Holtz little piece of ephemera and this is one of I think this letter is one of Andrea's actually and I'll put the story begins on there but I just like the way that all looked together so that went in there like that and then on the back page I've kept it this page here again I've just put some butterflies bit of stamping another one of my tags and on the very back this is another altered paper clip that I've done and here we've got another belly band with another card from the woodland walk kit and that's got another mother of pearl button and a little bell on it and if I just fold that in like that and then on the back we've got a little writing spot a collage here and just a couple little tags hanging off the top and that's the back so there we go um, I hope you like it Heidi I really am so sorry it's taken me so long but I have thoroughly enjoyed making this and uh, I really hope that you know you enjoy it you deserve it all the waiting you've done <laughs> I'll just put her there like that Anyway, folks, so I'll be back again soon. I'm starting another design team project and uh, it won't be long and uh, another video will be up. So please take care, everybody, and uh, speak to you again soon. Bye for now. Bye.